Hey, something that's bad tonight. Tonight we've got Netty, Netty Norwell. That's Ubuntu 11.04 Alpha 3 for you. It's a really quick look around for you. Now I've installed it and I've got the Unity interface. It's just the 3D one. If you want to run it in the box, remember to tick the 3D stuff in VirtualBox or whatever virtualization stuff you use. And you can see there on the side there, you've got the Unity bar. Whether I'm ever going to get used to this is another thing. So anyway, I'm going to click on Applications. And basically, it's like Netbook Remix at the end of the day. And my kids love it. Whether I'll ever get used to it, I'll never know. So it's all the results. If I just click there, everything's in there. That everything you can think of, G-Brain is there. The usual ones that are all installed with Ubuntu as standard. We'll bring it down a little bit for you in just a sec. There we go. Now, it comes with Firefox at 4.0 Beta 12, which actually runs really nice, actually, and LibreOffice. Now, I'm going to open a part of LibreOffice for presentations. So here we are. Opens up for us. Oh, my dear. Proves it's an alpha. Look, oh, I've got a bit of a dodgy one there. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly drag that down and get rid of that box. I haven't finished the video for you, and I'll report that a bit later. I've actually got this installed in Virtual Machine and on a full machine. It doesn't like the drivers on the full machine for what I've got, especially my NVIDIA card. Don't like it at all. So anyway, we're going to go through this installation here. The installation, what I'm talking about. The presentation was it. We're going to go through it with you, do a couple of wipes, just to show it actually works, just in case none of you have ever used LibreOffice or OpenOffice. Basically, it does what it says on the tin. Click, add your titles, add your text, do whatever you want for a presentation file. It does it, no problem. Now, I have used the Alpha 2 and the Alpha 1, they were rubbish, mate. I couldn't even get a recording of them, really. But hey, this one's not too bad. So we're going to open up the Fox 12. Hmm, I like opening 12 Foxes. Do I? No, no, no. It's Christmas, isn't it? Never mind. So we're going to type in Ubuntu 11.04, if I can get my fingers to work correctly, and type the right words. So Ubuntu 11. Oh, no, wrong one. I don't want to know. I want a zero. So, get back there, 11.04, when I find the 4, where's my 4 gone? There it is, there we go. I'm going to click on search, and see what it comes up with. So, all connects to internet, okay, okay, anything like that, it all works. I wouldn't say you should install this on your new machine, or a machine whatsoever. Only in testing, unless you've got some spare machines to do a bit of testing for them. Which I do encourage, actually. The more we can do to help everybody, the quicker it will be out and all the bugs will be get sorted, basically. So anyway, it didn't show what I wanted to say. So what I'm going to do, we'll put in Alpha 3 at the end. And we should get some more search results for what we want to look at, basically. So I'll click on search one more time. That's better, isn't it? Yes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on there from the Ubuntu site. Let me wait for it to work. So for my slow internet connection, I've got Xboxes and Wii's going, tens of a dozen in the house at the moment. Now from here you can actually install and download everything you want to. So Mythbuntu, Ubuntu Studio, Edubuntu, Zubuntu, Kubuntu, Netbook Arm, Ubuntu Server and Desktop and Server, whatever you want to do, 64-bit and 32 as far as I'm aware, so that's okay, isn't it? Let's see what we do there. Don't know. I actually I don't mind it at the moment. My kids really love it. But then again, they loved Ubuntu Netbook Remix. Now I just wasn't fond of that. You get a lot more pictures here too for your backgrounds as standard, which is very nice too. So I'll just change that for you. Look, that's all right. Lovely. This is a really short video because it is an alpha free. I'm going to wait for the main beaters to come along. But I just want to give you a quick look to show you what it's like as an average user using an average machine on averagey, averagey things. Now, as you know, Banshee is now a default media player. Ooh, that's going to upset a few people, isn't it? Quite a few people. There's a lot of bits and bobs going around about that because of money and stuff, but you can read it elsewhere on the news channels. You know who you are. So, anyway, yeah, it is basically a Netbook Remix interface. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to get on with that personally, but it's made for new users. It's, at the end of the day, it's for new people to come along to Ubuntu and Linux and use it, isn't it, really? So, if you're between the ages of 12 and 24, you're going to love this, really. My kids love it because they've got Jolly Cloud as well on their netbooks. So, they can actually log in and just push over the top. By the way, if you didn't know, if you've got Chrome or Chromium running, you can actually download an app to get your Jolly Cloud desktop onto your thing, onto your um, web browser. Really nice. Notifications changing also on this one. Forget that for your me menu. But on the whole, it's all right, yeah. We click on the main Ubuntu thing, that's all right. I'm not going to make it too long, because I'm going to wait until it comes a bit more stable, really. 
but it does what it says on the tin and it is usable now before it wasn't usable but if you've got a new nvidia card it don't like it so, yeah ask me yeah it don't like it ask me yeah it don't like it anyway it's okay it looks nice runs nice doesn't crash too many times sneaky linux is going out i'll see you very soon bye, -bye.